Well, the family of Ronald Silver II, the Baltimore Department of Public Works employee who died on the job last month, are still demanding answers from the city. They say they do not know what exactly what happened to him on August 2nd. WJZ is live and Tara Lynch on your corner. She heard from members of his family today demanding a response from the city. Tara. Denise, Ronald Silver II's family, of course, still grieving just weeks after he died on the job. He overheated and died on August 2nd. We heard from his mother today, who had a very emotional plea for the city to release exactly what happened. This has been a horrific last 30 days for our family. The family of Ronald Silver is demanding answers and for the city to complete an after action report after the 36-year-old DPW worker overheated and died from hypothermia last month. He was beloved. He was, he was so beloved. And he deserved more than to die alone. It's something that can prevent me. We deserve answers. This was someone that was stolen from our lives at the hands of Baltimore City, who refused to give us answers as we have asked for. The Baltimore City Council held a hearing last month to learn more about what exactly went wrong on August 2nd. The city also contracted a D.C. based law firm to look into the case. The family says it's not heard from the city since those actions were taken. Silver's death comes in the wake of a report by the inspector general that described the dangerous sweltering conditions in the city's Department of Public Works. For this to happen, in the immediate wake of so many people shouting at the top of their lungs that these workers needed help, we just don't understand. Silver is remembered by his family as a good man who always did right by others, including his five children. His legacy is his children. They are his legacy. And his professional legacy should be the changes that should happen. For Absolutely. each and every employee of Baltimore City, especially those that do the least thankful job. The family is hoping for that uh, after action report to be published and so that everyone can understand a little bit more of what happened on August 2nd. Meanwhile, the family attorney through Vignaraja says that they've done their own private investigation and will release the details of that if the city does not issue a public report. We did hear from the Department of Public Works today. They issued a lengthy statement saying in part that there are many state and local agencies looking into what happened on August 2nd and the department is fully cooperating with that investigation. For now, reporting live on your corner in Baltimore City, Tara Lynch, WJZ. Tara, thank you.